Hare Krishna. The last quality in the list of 26 qualities of a devotee is mauni or silent. Now, when it comes to silent, it does not mean that a devotee is all the time. No, we are not talking about that silence. But silence here basically means the devotee is silent means he does not speak anything nonsense. Very beautifully it is described that a fool is not exposed until he speaks. So, a devotee is very careful what he speaks. So, what does a devotee speak? A devotee speaks only things related to Krishna. Prabhupada says, nonsensical speech is compared to croaking of a frog. So, in the rainy season when the frog is croaking, making sounds. So, that time the snake comes and it eats up the frog. Basically, when someone speaks nonsense, Prabhupada says, he is just calling for his own death. That's it. Therefore, a devotee always speaks about Krishna. Either he will glorify Krishna's name, form, qualities, pastimes and abode of the Lord or he will just go on chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra or he will speak philosophy of Krishna consciousness. He will just keep switching from one to another to another but he will never speak anything nonsense. That's the quality of a devotee. Therefore, he is called as Mauni or silent. Many times as sadhakas, we get rasa. We get taste to speak non-Krishna conscious stuff. But with time, it's very very important that a devotee develops this quality of speaking only about Krishna and nothing else. What was Srila Prabhupada doing, our Acharya? Srila Prabhupada, either he would give class in big pandal program where some 10,000 people are present or he will be giving class to his small group of disciples or he will have one-to-one -one discussions with the elite personalities of the society or he will just speak to his servant and in each of the case Prabhupada would just glorify Krishna How many times Prabhupada uses the word Krishna in his classes? Every second line has Krishna, Krishna, Krishna In this way, this is the mood of Srila Prabhupada Either he will be doing this or he will be chanting Hare Krishna he will be singing Hare Krishna or chanting on beats. His Holiness Satswarup Maharaj, he says, he shares one of the incident. So he and Prabhupada, they were traveling from Frankfurt to Melbourne. And when they were flying, the Maharaj said that Prabhupada hardly spoke, just a couple of times. And rest of the time, Prabhupada was silent. Either he was reading something, Related to, the, related to the Lord or he was silently chanting on his peace. Hare Krishna Mahamad. This is called as being silent. It's very very important to be silent. That is always speaking about Krishna. Always. And see, this quality of becoming a Mauni is not easy. It's not easy. Because from time immemorial, we have been speaking and hearing nonsense. And we have natural taste to do that, natural. But to speak about Krishna, hear about Krishna, we need to endeavor. Therefore, when we are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we should first and foremost remember that this chanting of Hare Krishna is the quality of a person who is silent or mauni. And we should pray to Krishna that since I don't have taste for chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra to glorify your name, form, qualities, pastimes and your abode, I am speaking everything else of this material world. Oh Lord, please bless me. Please bless me with taste for glorifying you and chanting your holy names. And by the mercy of the Lord, surely this quality will manifest in all of us. So today while chanting, let's beg and pray to Krishna for taste. And by His mercy, we will surely become silent. Hare Krishna.